Hello, my name is Clark Schroeder. I'm the County Administrator for Ashton County. There's been some recent questions concerning the referendum that we're asking the citizens to vote on on April 6th. Should the county be allowed to raise the general levy limit by $938,000 for a period of five years? This, the question has come up concerning the $3 million which Ashton County will be receiving from the, federal, the new federal stimulus dollars coming down the pike. These funds have a lot of restrictions on them and they cannot be used to support county operations such as roads, sheriff's department, health and human services. So when you look at the screen you have in front of you here, I'm gonna walk through this a little bit. This comes from the National Association for Counties. The money coming through from the federal government is gonna come down to states. As you can see here, they're gonna share $195 billion. Local governments, $130 billion, divided between non-county municipalities. And of that, $65.1 billion is coming directly to the counties based on county share of US population. So in Ashland County's case, we'll be receiving $3 million over the course of the next 24 months. We'll be receiving 1.5 million in May of this year and 1.5 million in May of the next year. This money has to be expended by December 31st, 2024. Now you may ask, why should we raise property taxes when we're getting $3 million? And that's an excellent question. So the treasury department puts stipulations on what this money can be used for. It can't be used to support the road department or sheriff's department or health and human services or other mandated vital county functions. It can be used, however, for these four areas. One, respond to or mitigate the public health emergency with respect to the COVID-19 emergency or its negative economic impacts, including assistance to households, small businesses and nonprofits, or aid to impacted industries such as tourism, travel, and hospitality. So these are just examples that the Treasury Department has put out there. Two, provide government services to the extent of the reduction in revenue. So this would be uh, property tax decrease, income tax sales, uh, sales tax decrease. In this case, Ashton County has not seen any revenue decreases with the exception of timber. I've asked the Treasury Department to research if the $200,000 decrease in timber revenue from the closing of Versal would be allowable for us to claim under this particular model. Three, making investments in water, sewer, or broadband infrastructure. So this is where the Treasury Department really limited what you can put down for infrastructure projects. Our understanding, we will not be able to build roads with this money, even though we have millions and millions of dollars of backlog road maintenance and repairs, does not look like this is gonna happen. Uh, four, state and local governments can transfer the funds to a private nonprofit organization involved in the transport of passengers or cargo or special purpose unit of state or local government. That would be more transportation like the buses or other types of uh, uh, outfits. And then respond to workers performing essential work during the COVID-19 public health emergency by providing premium pay to eligible workers of the county that are performing such essential work. This would not be to supplant or basically pay for the salaries of the county employees we have. It would be to give them an added bonus for working through the COVID crisis. This would be a county board decision, but this would not, we cannot use this to pay for the health care and the benefits and the salaries of the current county employees. So the question is, what are we gonna do with this money? First off, I will say this, we need to be accountable for this. We need to be, be able to be audited in 2024, 2025. And if we misuse the money or spend it outside of the realm of treasury's authorization, we will see an audit and we'll have to pay the money back. So the last thing we wanna do is make future county boards pay for misuse funds. So when you look at the top category, assistance to households, small businesses, nonprofits, aids to impacted industries such as tourism, travel, or hospitality. 
one of the things that I would recommend the county board look at is what can we look back, what can we invest in that five or 10 years from now, we will say, man, I'm glad we did that. We just didn't give it away for nothing. We basically did some sort of infrastructure that would increase hospitality or tourism industries here in Ashland County because that's what's gonna sustain this county is bringing more people into the county. So that will be one of the first things. The other question you may have is how is this money gonna be allocated? Who's going to decide? So we're gonna be bringing hopefully treasury, the treasury department's guidance to the executive committee on April 13th. And they will go through and look at the guidance and hopefully make some recommendations to the county board County Board will be meeting at nine o'clock on April 20th. And that will be the first uh, conversation that they have regarding this subject. If you have suggestions that fit within these guidelines, certainly reach out to your County Board Supervisor and make a suggestion to that. And we can see if the Treasury Department would allow it. This will be done over the next few months, probably the next four or five months as the county goes through and decides how to spend this money, at least the first $1.5 million. If you have further questions, please feel free, feel free to reach out to me, Clark Schroeder, County Administrator, Ashland County. Thank you for your time.